So my name is Marissa Rodriguez Carmona and I'm a senior lecturer at City University and I'm also a program director for the introduction to optometry. Previously for the um, railway in the UK they use the Ishihara Seru isochromatic plate tests. The Ishihara is a screener so this means that it detects if there is a color vision loss and it does not measure the level or the type of color vision loss you might have. They said, okay, if the applicant reads X number of plates correctly, they can then um, join or have passed the occupational health um, assessment. Previously, there was a lot of variability uh, in passing the Shihara test. The protocols were not established, so it, it could be that if you went to one occupational health center, you passed and went to another one and you failed. And now what we propose is to use a two-step protocol. So initially they do the Shihara, they do the first 13 plates only of the 24 uh, plate edition, but with no errors. Okay, and very strict. So you do the plates with a certain time, you read them correct, yes or no. The problem with this is that we know that it fails some people with normal color vision. Some mild deutons can also pass, okay, but we're not worried about those. So all those that fail um, this, this step one go on to do the CAD test. So the CAD test is a test that was developed um, at City St. George's University of London, and it was part of my PhD and previous studies by Professor John Barber. And it stands for Color Assessment and Diagnosis Test. And it's a display-based test that has a, a square and a gray background of luminous contrast noise. And embedded, there's a moving stimulus that is defined by color, okay? And it's that saturation of that color stimulus that varies according to um, the applicant's response, okay? So if you fail to see the moving stimulus, you press a button that you, um, or the wrong direction of motion of the uh, button, of the stimulus, and then the next presentation comes up and it's a staircase procedure, it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to complete, and it gives you a measure of your color vision sensitivity for yellow, blue, and red, green directions in color space. And we've set, based on historical data, uh, a threshold that is different for deutans and protans. So if your threshold is less than 3.05 and you're a deutan, you pass. And if your threshold is less than 5.27 for protans, you pass. So under the new two-stage process, um, just under 50% of deutans will now pass and around 65% of protans will now pass. 